when you see something where, you know, Lana Rhodes had this high profile, uh, brief time spent in the world and yep. then she kind of pivots out of it and right. now she's doing, you know, Instagram stuff, podcast right. stuff, whatever. And she, she kind of regrets it. Uh -huh. And it's sort of strange for me to see that because, you know, I'm not somebody who, who can relate to how she feels. Right. But at the same time, I mean, her, her feelings are valid. She, she, she regrets her experience in the adult industry and stuff. What is it like for you, though, when you see somebody say that? Because I'm surrounded by girls who look at porn like, this is the thing that changed my life. Right. You know, this is the thing that like took me out of working at a real estate office. And I'm most of the girls I know would say that their happiness with them having done porn is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. You know what, man? I think that's like a common thing with a lot of girls. Not all, but a lot of them who, who once they step out, they want to talk in a negative way about it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, you know, don't do that. It's bad. This, that or whatever. It was funny for me with her. I shot with her a few times. Um I don't, you know, it's hard for me to say with, with, with her. She, um, she's obviously doing her own thing now. She was great, you know, when she was shooting. I mean, you know, she, you look at her and shit and she was the real deal. Right. There's no doubt on that. So I'm always surprised when a girl does that. I don't know what the, 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 the motivation is in that because that's what built you up. Mm. That's what did it for you. That's what put you on the map. So right. to sit there and now go, Oh, it's bad. Oh, I wish I never did that. Hey, it's kind of hypocritical and all that shit. Uh, you know, I don't think too highly of it, but I guess she's got her own, or not just her, but other girls that do that, they have their own reasons for it. But at the end of the day, that's what that's what made you. you yeah, know? because the fact that she's able to be so financially comfortable at this point, because I'm sure that even, I'm sure her OnlyFans isn't like, you know, her getting fucked. I'm sure it's like boob photos yeah, and shit sure. like that. For sure. But I mean... You know, the reason why you're in the place to make such an absurd amount of money off OnlyFans every month is basically because these companies did advertising for you. And yeah, maybe you didn't make too much money off of them. But right. in a lot of ways, if I was one of those companies that shot with you early on, I'd be thinking like a more accurate way to look at this would be to say that we probably deserve a percentage of yeah. the money that you're making now. <laughs> right, right, now, right. Now, that wasn't in the contract, so they're not going to try to go for it. But right. realistically, they, they help build you. You're, you're, True. Without that... And I'm not saying she's not pretty, because obviously she's very oh, yeah. above she's average dope. in hotness. But, sure. you know, you might have just been another Instagram girl if it wasn't for that, right? Right. True. No. True. 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 This, who was the other girl, though? The, uh can't remember. Mia. Mia what, Khalifa. Yes. You know. Her. That's another one uh, who, uh, like, I've seen read things on her just totally, like, you know, disrespecting. Uh, the, now she wasn't in uh, she wasn't in the industry for as, her run wasn't as long as, as uh, like, Lana's was. Right. So I don't know. I don't know how much you want to put on that. But um, I always think it's kind of kind of fucked up when they do that, you know, um, because it's like I got what I want out of it. Now, fuck them. You know, yeah. I don't I don't even like to know people that have that kind of mindset. So but it, but it's a very similar archetype with them where they're girls who got into porn at the very tail end of porn before OnlyFans kicked off. Right. So they did all this nasty ass right. shit, didn't make millions of dollars right. off it. Now they're out here making six figures a month off OnlyFans right. or whatever. Yeah. And they're kind of like, well, why the fuck did I do that? But I mean, again, Mia Khalifa, all the respect in the world. Yeah. But realistically, your OnlyFans ain't bringing in that much money if you didn't right. become the chick for totally. a period of time, right? Totally. It all it, it all connects, man. You know, you, you connect all the dots and and there you have it, you know. But uh but for those girls who like you said, who were in the game and then decided, you know what, I'm tired of showing up on set. I'm tired of doing this shit. I'm tired of being told what to do. Fuck it, I'm done. Mm. Here comes OnlyFans. Oh, wait a minute. You know, you're making that much money doing that? Right. I'm coming back. You know what I mean? Mm. And and I respect that. You know what I mean? If you could still, you know, I've shot recently with a couple of girls who like kind of left and then came back, you know. Um, I see a lot of that these days. Remy LaCroix. Bingo. Just worked with her as well. Okay. Dope. L love her. Great girl. Respect that. You know, that she was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm I'm, I'm getting back in this, you right. know? Uh, but then there was another girl I shot with whose name I won't mention. And it wasn't bad, but it was a clear case of, look, if you're coming back and you want to do this, you got to, you know, you got to be ready and like come with it right and she just wasn't ready you know what i mean so um and it's not a na it's not a knock it's not a negative thing on her in any way but my thing is if you're a girl who was in the game and now you're gone and you want to come back and do whatever just come in and 
come strong kind of thing. You know what I mean? Come back for your your bounties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.